The Fulanese we are talking, they call them the Funa movement. Our attention has been drawn to a decree credited to one Rotimi Akredolu asking Fulani people who have occupied some forests in Ondo state to quit. We are also aware of another incident in Oyo state where an illiterate political talk gave quick notice to Fulani people to leave their territories, which are now their irreversible homes. Are you listening? Fulani are now saying that Yoruba forest is now their irreversible homes. They have now occupied Yoruba land in perpetuity. And I want to let my Yoruba friends understand this. You see, in life, anytime you support evil, evil will come back to haunt you. All of you never knew that IPOB and this Biafra movement for was for your liberation. Some of you saw maybe the oil and gas from Biafra land. If they go now, we'll have access to oil and gas. In the process of having your eyes fixated on oil and gas, your forest is gone. Do you understand it? There is nothing more precious in life than freedom. Freedom is very important. And I need you to understand this this very morning. Every Yoruba person supporting Fulani, you are setting up yourself to become like the Hausa people. Remember when Hausa was supporting Fulani? We are Hausa Fulani. We are Hausa Fulani. Where are the Hausa people today? I ask you. Where are those Hausa people today? Do you see them anymore? They're saying we are house of Fulani, we are house of Fulani. Do you see them again today? Do you see them? I'm asking you. No, because Fulani have completely overwhelmed them. It's called emasculation. Completely emasculated them. Look at what they're doing in the East. In the East, they come to the East, they will tell you, oh, oh you want to be the president or vice? Yeah, 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 yeah. They say, give us land for Ruga. They give them land. The soldiers of Kadu did that lock banter. They've taken it over in forever and ever. Give us land in your state. Hope us them will prove to us that you are stood. Give us land in Olu. Hope us them will give them land in Olu. We can go and kill people in, in your people. We can kill for them. How many Fulani governors are prepared to kill bandits? I didn't say normal people. I'm talking about armed, dangerous bandits. How many Fulani governors? Go and read your newspapers. You will see it there. Fulani governors are negotiating with them, giving them arms, giving them vehicles, making sure that their life is no longer in misery. But see, they come down to the south. They tell you, give us land for Ruga. Go and kill your people to prove to us that you're one Nigerian. That was why Obiosa was talking rubbish. He was uh, talking was it yesterday or two days ago. Supported by the BBC. The problem you people have in Nigeria is this. Your journalists, you see people, Punch, Newspaper, Tribune, Vanguard, and Nation, they are your second worst enemies, I'm telling you the truth. They can never, ever be objective in their reportage. Never, ever, ever. That's why all of you are suffering. But you don't know it. They were the same people used to scuttle the NSAS protest. Of course, some of you went about looking for indom in warehouses. Typical black people. Any revolution that is coming now, you must stand very firm. They'll say, oh, you're Igbo. Oh, you're Yoruba. Oh, you're from Europe. Don't join them. It's our turn in 2023. If you do this, you will scuttle our chances of, of becoming the president in 2023. Ask yourself, all of them that have been president from, from time tomorrow, what benefit has it brought to you as a human being? Absolutely nothing. So you have nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing to lose. You look at them now. How they have now descended on Yoruba people, asking them to concede, give us your forest, we must graze, we must do this, we must do that. And slowly before your eyes, they are giving in, they are capitulating, they are allowing them to get, oh, uh, if you don't give it to us, Tinubu will not be president in 2023. Tinubu won't be the president. That's what I'm saying to you. And foolishly you will agree and hand over your land to them. And once they take your land over from you, Look at Hausa. Because there is a saying where we come from. If you want to know what your life is going to become in the future, look at Hausa people. If you want to, if you want to, to understand or appreciate, or appreciate, I would say, the life that you are about to bequeath to your children and grandchildren, look at Hausa people. Is there any Hausa governor today? Is there any house at Is there land though? Katsina is a house land. 
Kanu is Hausa land. Sokoto is Hausa land. Hausa people own it, indigenous to those areas. I'm asking you this question. Is there any Hausa man who's an emir in the north? The answer is no. The same thing is going to happen to you. If you don't rise up now to break, I'm not even asking people to break this. You demand for what rightfully belongs to you, your freedom. The freedom to decide. The freedom to write a constitution if you prefer. The freedom to live with whoever you want to live with. That is what we are asking for. But most people misunderstood what we are saying. And today, almost everything we have said about the zoo has come to pass. Everything we have told you, everything I told you has come to pass, hasn't it? Everything. And some people are still questioning and arguing. They said, Fulani will resist by all means necessary, including armed resistance, any attempt to forcefully eject them from the forest. Yoruba, you must ask yourself this question. When we were pursuing them from a boy, why didn't they say, why didn't they say something about, uh, about ESN on Namdekan? Why? Have you asked yourself that question? Because they know we are prepared to die to defend our land. They understand that very well. That is the only language the Fulani understand. You cannot say to Fulani, oh, let us have a Fulani president. And after that, all will be well. Never, ever, ever. They will continue to expand. They will continue to, they will continue to identify idiots in your midst, traitors, saboteurs in your midst. They will promise them heaven and earth. They will give them anything they ask for in order to ensure that they get into you. They subjugate you. Look at Yoruba and the Loring. Yoruba, how did you lose a Loring? You lost a Loring because somebody thought or felt that by aligning himself with what he felt was a superior full and force, he can defeat his own people. Afonja, what happened? As a result of that miscalculation, the great Yoruba race lost a Loring to full and caliphate. That is why in a Loring you have an emir of a Loring, not an oba of a Loring, answerable to Sokoto. That is where Lai Muhammad comes from. You can see them. Sokoto slaves in Yoruba land. When I say that it's, 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 a, it's not religion, it has nothing to do with religion. It has everything to do with the mentality of a conquered people. Now they have left the Lord and having taken a Lord and taken it to Sokoto, they now want to come into Oyo, they want to come into Ondo. Once they take over all those places, it's over for the Yoruba race. Over for you. No, ne, never again will anybody rise a man of honor or integrity in Yoruba land, never ever. It will only be the stooge. Look at what's happening in the East. Only fallen stooges can now emerge in the East. It, it took them very many years, nearly 50 years, to accomplish this very simple task of making sure that everybody, be it Ohaneze, be it Pandev, be it governor, anybody you're bringing out must come to the North to swear allegiance to the Caliphate. All of them, ban on. Is there any political godfather in the East? There is none. They all go to the north to go and swear allegiance to the Janjaweed. That is why our life is in a mess. That is why they can bring someone like Obioso and make him the, um, the Ohaneze President General. In front of our eyes, oh, in front of Korokoro, and what did they, they bribe, they gave money to BBC, they gave money to, to all Zoom newspapers, they started to trumpet Obioso, Apex Group, Apex, Apex, Apex. You saw them holding their meeting under, under a canopy. A ton without shame. A hands. Under sand. Ton canopy. Canopy. Maybe you saw it. Disgraceful and shameful. Talking rubbish. The man looks like a ginger weed anyway. Talking nonsense. These are people they have prepared for you to sell you down the drain. By the time the Fulanis are done with you, believe you me, if you don't rise up now to fight for your freedom, by the time Fulanis are done with you, you'll be more useless than a house at present. Doing uh, Babi Allah somewhere in Zaria. That is the future that awaits you. Now, our people must understand this very clearly, especially my Yoruba brothers and sisters. It is about time you stop supporting evil. That evil is in Asorok. That evil is a, a gang, a gang of, of reprobates calling themselves presidency. The more you, so, you keep on supporting evil in the zoo, the more your land will be taken from you. The more your daughters will be raped and abducted, the more your sons will be slaughtered in cold blood. 
and under one Nigeria, there is nothing you can do about it. Absolutely nothing. Because one idiot that the groomed will rise up and say to you, oh no, it's one Nigeria, there is crime everywhere. Uh, haven't you heard about Zamfara? Haven't you heard about um, Katsina? There is crime everywhere. That is not the case.